Lincoln Memorial University is located in the heart of Southern Appalachia, within two miles of historic Cumberland Gap, where the state boundaries of Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia merge. Since its creation in 1897, the university has offered educational opportunities to the people of this region. A values-based learning community, LMU's mission is geared toward career path education for future generations but the university keeps the towering image of Abraham Lincoln as guide and inspiration. LMU's nearly 4,000 students have more than 30 majors from which to choose. The university prides itself on individualized instruction with an average class size of 14 students. Its historic rural campus of 1,000 acres lies in the shadow of Cumberland Mountain and the Poor Valley Ridge. But the area around Cumberland Gap looked far different in 1863 than it does today. The Civil War was at its height and the region was devastated by the conflict. Although Tennessee was a slave state and had seceded from the Union to join the Confederacy, most residents of the mountainous counties of East Tennessee remained loyal to the federal government. They suffered terribly under occupation by Confederate troops and called on Washington, D.C. for help. President Abraham Lincoln heard those calls and was desperate to offer aid. Federal troops moved into the region in September 1863, capturing Cumberland Gap, Chattanooga, and Knoxville. But the Confederate victory at the Battle of Chickamauga later that month threatened to roll back federal control of the area. In the midst of this crisis, Lincoln authorized the sending of reinforcements from Virginia to Tennessee. Major General Oliver Otis Howard, a personal friend of Lincoln, commanded some of those reinforcements. In a final meeting between the two in the White House, Lincoln told Howard that if either of them survived the war, they should do something to help the loyalists of East Tennessee. They are loyal there, General. They are loyal. The President said this with passion. Lincoln lived barely long enough to see the triumph of the Union in the Civil War. Howard survived the awful conflict, but the general found no opportunity to fulfill Lincoln's wish for more than 30 years. Not long after the Civil War, the area around Cumberland Gap became a focal point of social and economic reform by people from outside Appalachia. In the 1880s, Alexander Arthur, a Scottish entrepreneur, used capital from British and American investors to exploit the rich coal and iron resources of the area. A railroad was constructed through the tunnel in Cumberland Mountain. Towns such as Middlesboro, Cumberland Gap, and Harrogate grew up nearby as people moved to the region for jobs in the growing economy. Northern missionaries such as Arthur A. Myers and his wife Ellen came to the area to establish churches and schools. The Myers created Harrow Academy at Cumberland Gap, a successful preparatory school for area children. When Myers invited General Howard to visit the Gap in 1896, the retired officer readily agreed. In a historic conference on the porch of the Harrow Academy, Myers told Howard of his great desire to create a college in the area for his academy students to attend. Howard was deeply interested. Cyrus Kerr, a patent lawyer in Chicago and an acquaintance of Howard's, had the idea to name the university after Lincoln. 
Kerr soon became the university's first president and spearheaded the purchase of the Four Seasons Hotel property at Harrogate to serve as the campus of the new educational institution. The Four Seasons was a massive 700-room winter resort with a health spa completed in 1892 but bankrupted by the Panic of 1893. The property became the heart of the Lincoln Memorial University campus and is today known as the Old Campus. The school received a charter from the state of Tennessee in 1897 with the first college classes offered two years later. Howard insisted on renaming the old Four Seasons Sanitarium or Health Spa Grant Lee Hall. He wanted it to stand as a symbol of North-South reconciliation more than 30 years after the Civil War. General Howard had supported more than 40 educational institutions, including Howard University. This was during his long lifetime, but he adopted Lincoln Memorial University as his last great cause. Howard envisioned LMU as a living memorial to his friend, the martyred great emancipator. He also saw the university as a beacon of hope for impoverished Appalachian youth who had no other opportunity for higher education. Howard worked tirelessly as chairman of LMU's board of directors to raise funds from wealthy donors in New York, Boston, Chicago. They included steel magnate Andrew Carnegie, who donated the funds to construct a library building on campus. Without Howard's selfless devotion, Lincoln Memorial University would not have survived its early years. The university lost its best friend when Howard died in 1909. For 70 years after Howard's death in 1909, LMU endured decades of struggle and survival. Efforts to expand by purchasing the Tennessee Medical College in Knoxville had to be dropped due to lack of funding. With minimal finances, students, faculty, and staff working against great odds, the only way most students could afford to attend was by accepting jobs on campus to work their way through the college. They performed a variety of tasks that kept Lincoln Memorial University operating, such as cleaning the buildings, serving meals in the cafeteria, working on the 600-acre farm that grew food for the dormitories, even laying water pipes and working in the limestone quarry. They performed tough, demanding work in addition to taking a full load of classes every day. The university experienced tension and stress while trying to gain accreditation by the Southern Association in the late 1920s. It tried to modernize laboratories and classrooms and hire qualified faculty from other parts of the nation. But the firing of several faculty members whose continued service seemed vital to accreditation sparked a massive student strike in 1930. About 90% of the 400 students boycotted their classes. Already in weak financial health, LMU barely survived this turmoil, and it almost collapsed because of the suffering induced by the Great Depression. LMU's financial condition slowly improved by the late 1930s. President Stuart W. McClellan spearheaded an effort to acquire artifacts and memorabilia associated with Abraham Lincoln, making the university a major focus of research and scholarship about the 16th president. Lincoln Memorial University also became known as a breeding ground for Appalachian literature. Three of the towering figures in this field, novelist Jesse Stewart, poet and activist Don West, and novelist and poet James Still, had finished their degrees at the same university in the same year, 1929. After the lean years of World War II, Lincoln Memorial University slowly grew and expanded. The university opened its doors to African Americans in the 1960s after a state law mandating segregation on the college level was repealed. The work program on campus was phased out at the same time as students took advantage of government-sponsored aid programs. The university entered a new phase of its history by the latter years of the 20th century expanding its training of nurses and developing programs in postgraduate education. Enrollment continued to climb until more than 1,200 students enrolled in classes on the main Harrogate campus in 2006. 
The growth of off-campus offerings led to the creation of 11 sites in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Georgia that served hundreds of other students. By the early 21st century, Lincoln Memorial University rebranded itself as a career path university. The creation of the DeBus College of Osteopathic Medicine in 2007 initiated a new era of medical education and the Duncan School of Law, located in Knoxville, followed in 2009. Postgraduate training for nurses, medical personnel, public school educators, and business people has transformed the university into a research institution that's setting the standard in many areas of medical education. In a nod of appreciation to the past, LMU created the J. Frank White Academy in 1989 to offer instruction in grades 5 through 12 to area youth. But Lincoln Memorial University has never forgotten its namesake. A required class, Lincoln 100, which covers the life and times of the 16th president, is required of all students. Two statues of Lincoln and one statue of LMU's most important founder, Oliver Otis Howard, grace the campus. The Abraham Lincoln Library and Museum, constructed in 1976, houses one of the most important collections of Lincoln documents and artifacts in the entire world. The Civil War and Appalachian heritage of Lincoln Memorial University coexist side by side with the state-of-the-art programs and facilities that train regional students for productive careers in the future. Both Lincoln and Howard would be impressed and pleased to see what became of their brief meeting in the White House during those stormy days of September 1863, more than 150 years ago.